All right, here we go. So it's all about the accurate weighing. So that's not touching anything. It's center, and we've got a six, 608. So a quite a lightweight front wheel. All right, quite lightweight. And it looks like it's got a lot of spokes, so a bit of strength there as well. Let's go for the rear. These are through axles. All right, so that's on there. That's 719. 719, so extra 120 grams for the axle and the three hub body. So 719, let's do the maths, we're talking, is that 1300 something grams? 1300 grams, so it's pretty lightweight. Pretty lightweight. Welcome to the video today, we've got some scales, we've got some carbon wheels in a box, and we're gonna review them. These wheels are sent to me for review purposes, so full transparency. Uh, no one said, hey, do a great review on it, give me some free wheels, they just said, we value your opinion, you have a large following, we think our product is great, would you please review it? I'm like, I don't know, let's do it, honest opinion. Now they already have been unboxed. Um, DT Swiss 240 wheels. They were unboxed by a mate of mine, just waiting for a mate. And uh, there's some package in here, some Chinese EPO maybe. I sent it to my mate, Cookie Man, Cookie Man. <laughs> it feels like an egg was in here. Is this from Cookie Man? Is this for Cookie Man? What is this? Come on, come on! Go away! So it comes in there. So this is from Yishin. Yishin make the light carbon bikes. Um, the Nove stuff. Oh, valve extenders. Okay, so it comes with those. Interesting. Are they valve extenders or are they tubeless valves? Sorry. If you like this sort of videos, the real videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. They are valve extenders. Valve extenders. Are these rims tubeless? Oh, what are they? Yeah, I think they're valve extenders. What are these? I didn't even honestly know. If it's unusual. I have sent an email and asked what they are. That's weird. They're not valves, they're not extenders, they're um... So these are the wheels. These are the wheels. DT Swiss 240. DT Swiss, did you know, made in China, Taiwan now. I always thought they made in Switzerland. So original DT Swiss product. Uh, the rim quite wide. It does have eyelets in there. I do prefer no eyelets, because then you don't have to worry about rim tape. Um, so I'm a fan of, so it's not a, a hook bead rim. So these are, yeah, it's interesting. It's very shallow hook bead. Obviously sufficient, but uh, the hubs are definitely nice. Sand lock as well. They go in there quite easy. Uh, DT Swiss. You can't go wrong with DT Swiss wheels. Rims as well, rather. So this is the deal. Let me put these on the scales. My first impressions of finish. It's finished very nicely. It looks good. Um, I do prefer, honestly, though. I think that the these are obviously easier to service spokes but with rim tape and stuff like that i do prefer um a closed thing but again these are lighter a bit if you want to say there's pros and cons if drilling if drilling rims is a gonna save that much weight but yeah otherwise quite nice they the weight wise let's get them on the scales shall we let's get them on the scales so this is a rear wheel and i'm going to put it on the scales and i'll just change that camera angle so now we'll have a closer look at this uh, finish. It does feel very, very nice. It looks very, very good. Uh, spokes, looks like we've got some sappins maybe. They look like alloy spoke nipples. So bear in mind, if you go alloy, they're lighter, but not as durable. So keep that in mind if you're going to go touring. Finish on these looks excellent. It looks very, very good. Very, very good. As good as any high-end rim, if not better. Let's have a look at the insides here. So you have the DT Swiss straight pull. Let's have a look at this uh, finish here. It looks pretty good. I've seen a lot of rims. These, these look as good as my S-Works Revals, uh, which I could take off and show you, but they've got full of sealant. So they're, uh, they're, they're definitely feeling pretty legit. 
There's a little QR there, a little QC. Also, there's a recommendation that sort of spin it around uh, for the tire pressure. Max tire pressure is about 90 psi. Max right away, 120 kilos. So Joe Beast, uh, no go on these ones. But I personally, I don't think you should be riding carbon rims if you're really over 90 kilos. Because if you're hitting stuff on dirt as well, if you're hitting big rocks and stuff, I, I, I don't think that's going to be the best. But these are rated to 120 kilos. Uh, the finish looks was quite good. The hook bead uh, is, is sort of shallowish, but yeah, obviously we've done it, done tried and tested, so we'll test it out, see what I think. But so far, uh, so good. The finish looks as good as anything. If you gave it to me from Envy or Zip or Lightweight or whatever, these actually these are finished better than lightweights. And the lightweights I do like, but just give them an honest review here. So. Uh, yeah, there's a bit, of a, a bit of a mark there. That's probably some factory or shipping or whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's just cosmetic. But there, the DT Swiss Free Hub is good, but it can get a bit gouged out. So I think DT Swiss could go, you know, step it up and put in like a little steel sort of sitting there. I think that, that would definitely help. That would definitely help with durability. Otherwise, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the DT Swiss. They are easy to get parts for in service. So DT Swiss are my favorite hubs. So far, sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds nice. Schnitzel, schnitzel. What's, what's schnitzel doing over here? Come on, schnitzel. Some carbon. Jesus, come on here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys want carbon? Who wants carbon wheels? Who wants carbon wheels? Come on. Who wants carbon wheels? Meow if you want carbon. These are frantic little cats, aren't they? Jesus. Carbon wheels? <laughs> Who's eating McDonald's? <laughs> Roxy.